Uh, my name is Lenore Von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. Uh, and I'm sitting here tonight with Beth Griffith, uh, Bern Nix, and Andrew Bolotowski. Um, and this is a rehearsal for an episode that we're going to shoot right after this uh, about a woman who lives way far in the future. And uh, she's very uh, old, but she's very uh, um, completely um, pert. She's like a young adult. Uh, and that's what's happening. And so when I tell people, her name is Palau, and when I tell people that she's a 210-year-old uh, person, people sometimes say to me, oh, who wants to live that long, you know? And, and, and you know, like, it, it takes them a while. They can't really, they don't get it first that I mean, well, you're living that long, but you're fully active, you're fully sexual, you're fully, and, 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 and maybe they are talking about sex. Maybe it comes down to sex all the time. That's what crime shows say, it usually comes down to sex. But, but um, you know, that doesn't always seem true in real life. There are other things going on. But, um, I mean, um, they think that I mean old the way people are old now, often pictured old, like watching life from afar, you know, maybe beloved if they're lucky, but defeated, infirmed, without sex or love life, invisible, everything behind you. Terrible will show, terrible So let's 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 uh, practice. We're going to practice some of these tunes. This tune is called "Sparkling." I don't know why it's called "Sparkling." I I named it as I was writing it, and I think at the beginning there was a reason for it, but I've long forgotten what that reason is. Uh, uh, and um, but um, okay. So should I? It's it's in four four time, and it's got a, a written in cue, right? Yeah. So you want to um, let's let's just start it. Oh, I'm me counting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me count it in. Okay. So it, could we ra like around here? One, two, three, four. Perfection requires nothing. Oh, oh, is not the truth. There were some bangers and some <laughs> mistakes, and that's some, uh, okay, but um, shall we move along here? Or is there something you want to look at again here? Anybody? In this particular piece, or? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> 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 move, move on, move on. Move on? on. Okay. Yes. okay, peer pressure. <laughs> uh, okay, so listen. 
there's more about this thing when I tell people about this, uh, what I'm writing about Palau. And this is actually part seven and eight of Palau, so I've been working on it for a while. And um, so next, I tell people, you know, after I've told them about this Palau and how she's 210, and they say, oh, yeah, why do you want to live that long, blah, 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 all the things I just said. And next, I tell them that, pal that Palau, the Palau that I've made up, is physically and mentally vibrant, very, a very sophisticated young adult. And, and, then, and, and so are uh, most of the people living in this era that I've imagined. People, many people get quiet behind that. Uh, they, they, uh, um, and, and so I'm wondering, does the idea make them uncomfortable because there would be no more comfortable grannies or even maybe uh, moms or dads in the traditional sense? Um, uh, my, my grandmother, I called Nana, my, my Nana, I really uh, adored her and adored her role, but I don't know how much she adored her role. Uh, and and uh, so uh, it's... Um, that, and that's what I'm talking about, this, this world where people um, are, realize themselves and are happy uh, in that way for their entire length of their entire lives. They just don't sort of disappear. They just, at, at some point, their cells give out and they die. But before that happens, they're up like pops. Uh, and um, so in this world, you know, these people, they, they stay competitive, but they can afford to be friendlier. Um, so one of the things I'm looking at is how do power struggles continue when, uh, when material things are free and everybody, everybody's rich, everybody has everything, and the, and the living situations are flexible and easily changed given you know, the different ways you feel. How to, how, you know, what would that be like? OK, so let's try the next tune here, now that you have you a know, little background. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's try guitar. It's guitar. It's uh, called guitar. <laughs> and uh, excuse me. And um, so this has a built-in cue too. So shall we? I s you want me to count it off? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> S-O-N, but it could be the other thing. Mm -hmm. So um, in this world, again, going back to this issue in this world, there, there would still be this, there would still be unconditional love, if, you know, whatever that is, this thing that everybody seems to be searching for all their lives, including me, but you only get for a nanosecond when you're, you know, like two months old, but maybe not even then. But this, this or something that looks like it. In, in other words, people that will never turn on you uh, um, because you mean so much to them, or in fact could turn on you even though you mean so much to them. Um.
try um, fixed. <clears throat> this is a piece about something being fixed. And I don't mean like the fix is in, you know, although that could be that too. But like, you know, s s in place, stuck there for better or for and for worse. Um, <coughs> okay, so should I count it out? And this has a built-in flute intro, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, um, so should I count it off, or are you, you going to intro us and count it off that way? I'll, 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 let's see what happens when I do it. Yeah, okay. let's see what happens when you do it. <laughs> Beth, I'm counting on you <laughs> <laughs> to bring me back, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Try it again, or or yeah, can we try it again? let's try it again <coughs> one more time. Hit it. Right. Hit it. Hit it. I worked in a nursing home. Um, um, I worked in a nursing home once, and, and I was struck by uh, how young the people in the nursing home were. They were their bodies had betrayed them. Uh, society had betrayed them. Uh, they uh, and 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 even though they were. <laughs> Uh, very sick and all wrinkly and in wheelchairs and blind and sometimes they completely lost their mind. They were 17. They were 18. They were the same people. And as I got to know them, I, it became clear to me that, and, and, and for a lot of them, they had kind of done the same things all their lives. But if, if, if 
if you knew them when you were when they were 17 and you met them later they might look a lot different but after you talk to them you realize it was the same person because they were the same people and they were caught in this terrible trap where the world didn't recognize them as that anymore and 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 but you know if they could have been the other roles that they were supposed to be that would have been much nicer for them but they couldn't be that because they weren't that they were you know they certainly they were people's mothers they were people's fathers and grandmoms and grandpas and great grandmas and great grandpas but they were also themselves at 17 they were also themselves at 22 they were the same people and they were and so it was it was incredibly uh, well, it was many things, but it was, it was, it was you know, I, I mean, I, you know, incredibly sad and all that, but it was, it was a really, they were really trapped uh, in an illogical place, in an unfriendly, illogical place that refused, in a, in a culture that refused to acknowledge who they actually were. And their only, they're, the best thing they could do was to go along with this and pretend that they weren't who they were. But you know, if you got to know them, it was very clear. You know, uh, and um, so in the time that I'm imagining, uh, people, this the vitality would just be because one of the things that they're telling us uh, that at least I understand from what's are predicting for the future for human beings is that after they are able to replace all the things that are broken and fix this part and that part and this disease and that disease thing, um, then eventually cells will wear out. But they will wear, maybe it'll take 200 years or 300 years now they're thinking, and you will live full tilt boogie until that happens. You will be 25 until that happens. But you will change your your perspectives will change your your because you will have lived X number of years more. But you won't be you won't be infirmed. You won't be your your body won't become won't betray you. Your body won't change on you like that. Your body will still be your servant as it always was. In fact, even more so because nobody will be, you know, really skinny or really fat or really any of these things because all these things will be taken care of. We will have figured it out, and and that's the world that I'm imagining. And imagining what would be the problems mm -hmm. in such a world, uh, when, especially when everyone's rich, when it's no longer a capitalist, uh, the psh, run you into the ground kind of world. <laughs> I've reached the point in my life where I, the age where I, where I, where I feel it. I feel these, 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 um, the cultural biases against me because of the age that I am. But I am still to the same person. I'm, I'm more vital a person than I was when I was 20. I mean, I'm more, I'm smarter. I'm, I'm friendlier. I'm, I'm.
why don't we try this next to new? It's the next thing on your on your pile of music. Next to new. And I'm not quite sure why I named this thing next to new, although, you know, something's not exactly new. It's next to new or it's new. It's next to new. So what's the what's the next to new? What's the Oh, it's a guitar? Oh, it's, it's yeah, very slow. Very, oh, it's very slow. We can take this very slow. So let's take this very slow. Okay. And the guitar is going to set this slowness for us. All right. Okay. I'm not in this one. Burn it in bar 20. Yeah, right. Okay. One, two, three. In this nursing home that I worked, which was, uh, that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> in this nursing home that I worked in, um, uh, many terrible things happen, as do in, in nursing homes. And uh, one of the, there was a couple that fell in love. And they were both in wheelchairs. And I forget if they were both blind or which one of them was blind. Maybe they were both blind. And there was... Um, they would sit ordinarily during the day in front of one of the elevators on one of their floors, sitting next to each other holding hands. The, the staff of the nursing home, many of the people, not all of them, but many of the people in the staff would make fun of them unmercifully for their affection for each other. Um, and and it, it wasn't just the usual sadism of the nursing home, which was certainly rife, uh, but it was this extra added thing that these people, these old people, had dared to find each other and to, and to like each other so much that we all knew about it, you know, to sit there holding hands in their wheelchair day after day, beautiful people. Um, so we, we're coming around to the end. Oh, 
gentlemen, this is the facts, as in what are the facts? Um, we'll see you. Good night for now. Later, Gators. <laughs>